I'm Ken Calvin. I'm a visual artist. And uh, I have a few uh, concerns about how visual art is viewed in general. So that's what I want to share with you today. For illustrative purposes, I will be sharing some of my own personal works to uh, illustrate certain points in this documentary. With a visual artist, um, the performance takes place in the artist's studio under, under most circumstances. The viewer walks through the gallery and they stand in front of the works and uh, what they see is the final product. What they may not understand is that the performance is reflected in that final product. Compensation is reflected in all the decisions that went into creating that work of art. I was honored to spend two years uh, working in my old neighborhood, the Court Square neighborhood, with uh, third, fourth, and fifth grade children at the Jefferson School, uh, teaching art and technology. I think teachers should identify uh, young students very early on, you know, uh, even in kindergarten, that have special uh, skills. The ability to appreciate beauty and nature does not belong exclusively to those who make art. I think art history could also use some expansion at all levels of our educational system. Traditionally, this is how we learn about ancient civilizations through their art. Uh, so the future, when we're no longer here, Individuals should be able to look at our art and get a sense of who we were, what was important to us, what our society valued. In most societies that uh, we perceive to be primitive, uh, everyone in the society is an artist. In our society, everybody is a specialist. So one person perhaps makes parts for cards, another person might be a writer. Uh, as a total society, I think there should be far greater emphasis on the arts. Uh, perhaps we're moving in that direction, so for that I can smile.